Hi, my name is Evan Archella, and I'd like to walk you through some tips and tricks for Microsoft Live at EDU. Let's take another look at the Office Web Apps functionality in SkyDrive. Here's my SkyDrive folder. We've looked at the Word web app in another screencast. I'd like to show you a little bit about how the PowerPoint web app works. If you'll simply hover over a PowerPoint file within your SkyDrive, click the name of the file, it will take you out to the read view of the PowerPoint web app. Here you have a file button. You also have down at the bottom the ability to navigate your presentation. So if you wanted, to, for example, to jump to another slide, you can do that very easily, as well as expand your notes view. So if you want to see the notes that are associated with a particular slide. At the top, you'll also find Start Slideshow. So if you wanted to jump straight into a slideshow, you could do so from here and be able to deliver that presentation basically from any PC that has internet access. Your slide transitions, your anima animations will be uh, in place here, and you'll be able to run through that very much like if you were doing so through the full PowerPoint application. Now, if you need to edit this particular presentation, you can edit it in the browser. That will open up the PowerPoint web app in the edit mode. And from here, you can do things like adding slides, for example. So let's select a slide layout. Go ahead and add a slide to the presentation. Uh, you can also, for example, type your text directly into the slide. If I go to slide three here, I want to show you kind of a two content layout. And I have the opportunity here of actually adding files like pictures, for example example that might be stored locally on my hard drive straight up into the presentation. So here's a JPEG that I have. I'm just going to pull it straight into the web-based version of PowerPoint. Now notice across the top you have picture tools. This is an example of what we call a contextual command tab. So just like in the full app, if you bring in something like a photo, you will have a contextual command tab that appears that gives you some options that are relevant to that particular item. Now on the picture tools tab, you can see I have some picture styles here, for example. Uh, kind of keep this in mind for a second, because if I go over to the Home tab and open this up within PowerPoint itself, now again, this requires me to have the application installed locally on the machine, whereas the browser-based version of the web app does not. But let's assume I have PowerPoint installed. I'll open it up. And because it's a web-based document, Office 2010 is going to ask me to enable the editing for that file. Now, I could have opened this in 2007, 2003. As long as they can interpret the new file format, you can open it, make some changes, and save it back. Keep in mind, you may be limited in terms of feature sets. So, for example, if I was going to work on SmartArt, that doesn't exist in Office 2003. It exists in Office 2007 and 2010. So, just because I can open it in 2003 with the compatibility pack, I may not be able to edit all of the features that are within that version. It kind of depends on what was released at that particular time. What I want to show you here in particular is if I go to slide three, here's that image that we just uploaded from the browser. You can see I have my contextual command tab at the top here. If I go to format, this is about what we had in the browser view in the PowerPoint web app. But now that I'm in the full app, you can see that I have all of these other picture tools available to me. One of the new things in 2010 is something we call artistic effects. So you can see I have a photograph here, but if I wanted to render that as a pencil sketch, for example, with one click, I can apply that artistic effect to that image and then go ahead and apply maybe something like shadowing from the picture styles and be able to do a number of different things with that image. When I'm finished with this, I'll go ahead and save it. The save button at the top has got the little revolving green arrows. That's going to synchronize those changes straight back to the SkyDrive. Go ahead and close out of PowerPoint. And you can see we have the updated document now back here within the SkyDrive. Version history still works here as well, just like it did within the Word app. So if I need to go into the version history, uh, maybe restore this back to uh, an earlier time, that's certainly a capability that I can take advantage of. Let me give you a few resources for Live at EDU. Microsoft.com slash Live at EDU is the main Live at EDU website. You can learn more about the program there. You'll also find the Live at EDU blog to be a useful place for learning about what's new with these tools, things that may be coming along, different changes that we're making. You'll also find help.outlook.com to be a helpful place for the Outlook Live application itself. This is the same place you can get to if you go to the little blue circle with the white question mark in it within the Outlook Live application itself. 
both ways will take you to help.outlook.com. Also, if you go to Bing, do a search for Office Web Apps Product Guide, you'll get a detailed PDF on all the features that are included in our Office Web Apps applications, which are now integrated into SkyDrive. Thanks again for your time today. I look forward to having you on another screencast.